respectfully ask that the mayor resign immediately. They say they've lost faith in her leadership, that the department and the community are suffering. Crimes is through the roof in the city. And as someone who's born and raised here, are sick and tired of politicians who are more focused on self-aggrandizement rather than solving the solutions, taking accountability, and stepping down if they are unfit to lead. Long. Let's talk about another really, really dangerous uh, situation in Oakland. I saw this video, this really popular YouTube creator. His name is Tyler Oliveira. I can't pronounce words. We're gonna watch a few minutes, but it, it talks about the situation in Oakland. And the mayor of Oakland is Shang Tao. She's under some federal investigations. I don't know if you guys checked out a lot of the stuff I talked about on, on the channel, but we'll watch a little bit of the situation. But let's just watch this video real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. This is Oakland, California. The owner of this property is not for any theft or vandalism. The owner of this property. Lawlessness, crime, homelessness, police giving up, businesses closing, and with one of every 30 residents having their car stolen last year, a 38% increase in robberies, 23% increase in burglaries, and 44% increase in motor vehicle theft, in and out made history by closing their first store in 75 years due to the rampant crime happening at their Oakland location. That That is significant. in and out is like, we're, we're out. There's no in and out, we're, we're out. We can't even deal with this. With the Oakland Police Union calling for Oakland Mayor Shang Tao to resign, claiming the city has become an international embarrassment under her leadership, and with many residents believing the police no longer have their back in the event of a crime, and with the district attorney focusing on not incarcerating criminals, many Oakland residents believe they need new leadership to restore Oakland to the cultural capital it once was. So yeah, that's, that's actually, that was a perfect intro. So people are really, really mad with Shang Tao. They are complaining for as long as she got in that she does not know what she's doing, that she is a terrible leader. And many police officials are saying that she should just step down. So there's already a recall campaign started trying to get her kicked out. And again, on top of that, she is dealing with a federal investigation. Let me see if I can find a video of the police union demanding her to resign. The PO held a news conference just today asking that she take action this week. KTVU's Ann Rubin live tonight here in the newsroom. And Ann, they say they've absolutely lost faith in her leadership here. Yeah, the POA says they're concerned about crime and staffing and the budget. But Mayor Tao says she's worried about those same things and they'd be better off working together. The Oakland Police Officers Association says they've had enough of Mayor Shang Tao. They sent a letter asking her to step down. Respectfully ask that the mayor resign immediately. They say they've lost faith in her leadership, that the department and the community are suffering. Crimes is through the roof in the city. The budget crisis, the distraction of the FBI raid that prevent our ability to function as a city. Just this weekend, nine people were shot in Oakland in a span of 30 hours. And they say there's simply not enough officers to respond to calls quickly. For an incident in West Oakland recently, it, it took us three days to finally get there for a shooting that 100 rounds was fired. But Mayor Tao just released a video statement. In it, she says crime is actually down. It's really unfortunate that the OPOA is obviously playing politics. Right now, during this very sensitive time, we need to come together. We see that what we are working on in regards to the comprehensive approach for public safety is working. She adds her budget prioritized public safety, funded new police academies, and saved 80 police jobs. The POA says it's just not enough. This is a time to invest more into the city, hire more police officers, retain the police officers, and fix the crime issue. And going forward, that's what we want to see from the next mayor. There is already an effort underway to recall Shang Tao. Organizers of that were at the... Oh, you just missed that. It had like a prison jumpsuit for her. I saw that uh, Photoshop down there. POA news conference. For someone to go on TV and admit that it's open season on your city, what I see is a desperate cry for help from our police officer. The POA says they are desperate for change, but they believe a recall will take too long and be too expensive. If she resigned by this week, the election will take place in November versus where waiting through the recall, then it will happen in April and the process even drag out longer when we need to work into the new budget immediately. So, yeah, things are not really great 
over there. So obviously a lot of police officials believe that her decisions are just causing more harm than good, especially when it comes to public safety. So there's a lot going on, especially with Mayor Tao's leadership being questioned. So when Mayor Tao took office, obviously it was going to know, she knew that she had to know there's going to be some challenges, especially with crime in Oakland. But the way she's handling these issues, these challenges, this recall election is scheduled for November, making the first time in Oakland's history that a mayor is facing a recall vote. The campaign cite various problems against Tao, including her handling of public safety issues, the departure of the Oakland A's, and the firing of the former police chief, Laron Armstrong. Despite the recall, organizers argue that Tao's leadership has not been effective addressing the city's challenges. And you can kind of figure it out in terms of how crazy crime has been. But obviously, Shang Tao responded to this effort by saying it's a distraction. It costs too much money. She's characterizing this recall campaign as political, pointing out that it began immediately after she took office. And she argues that the effort is a waste of time and resources, estimating it can cost the city millions of dollars. Many, many people feel that she's more focused on making political moves than actually solving the city's problems. I mean, one out of 30, you can get your car taken away? The crimes that's going on with the with the with the robberies, I mean carjacking. Like, you know when you're in a really rough spot where you legit have to seriously consider getting carjacked if you stop at a light or you stop anywhere. I mean, it, yeah, it happens every it happens everywhere. You can say that, but that is really really bad. And she has a long history of struggling with crime. Obviously, the pandemic made things worse, but the way she's been handling the police department, I think she fired the police chief. It's just not working. And more people are, are upset because of this federal investigation that she's going through. It's a cliche, but the silence is deafening following the unprecedented action taken in Oakland by the FBI, the IRS, and the Postal Service. ABC 7 News broke this story with our Lena Howland, the first to report on the rage yesterday. She's joining us live, live from the mayor's house. Lena? Kamasi, we have been trying repeatedly to get a hold of Oakland Mayor Shang Tao for three days. First for the recall and then for the FBI raid of her home right here behind me. But still, no response. Silence from Oakland Mayor Shang Tao's home Friday morning. A stark difference from the four hours FBI agents spent here on Thursday, carrying out boxes, plastic tubs, and trash bags. Despite a car registered to Tao sitting out front, there has been no sign of the mayor. Our public officials are elected to protect and serve our communities, to be held accountable to represent the interests of everyday constituents. And yet, like you mentioned, our leadership is nowhere to be found and more often or so dodging questions. Jennifer Tran is an ethnic studies professor at Cal State East Bay. She's also the president of the Oakland Vietnamese Chamber of Commerce and is running for Congress. She calls this investigation a distraction from other serious issues in the city, including the Juneteenth shooting at Lake Merritt. 15 people were shot. Jeez. We are at a point where our voters, everyday constituents, I'm, an, I'm a resident and, and a neighbor and as someone who's born and raised here, are sick and tired of politicians who are more focused on self-aggrandizement rather than solving the solutions, taking accountability, and stepping down if they are unfit to lead. That sounds familiar. That sounds like someone else we, I spend a whole lot of time on this channel. That sounds very familiar with what she just described. Enforcement sources tell ABC7 this is a public corruption case with the FBI, IRS, and U.S. Postal Service working together. And it comes only days after the effort to recall Tao was approved to be on the November's ballot. Experts in recalls and resignation was, is saying that it's going to be very difficult for her to regain the trust of the public given the erosion of trust leading up to this point in the last year and a half. The city of Oakland issuing a statement Friday morning saying under the city charter, the city administrator is responsible for the day to day administrative and fiscal operations of the city under the policy guidance of the office of the mayor in his capacity as city. I want I want to I want to show you exactly why she's being investigated by the feds. Let me see if they actually sh talk about that. The FBI investigation is exploring potential illegal activities such as money laundering, misuse of campaign donations, and other unethical practices related to the city's contracts and political contributions. Another significant aspect under scrutiny is the relationship between Tao 
her partner, Andre Jones, and the Duan family. Allegations include the Duan's involvement into a scheme to funnel money through straw donations to influence political outcomes and city contracts. So there's a lot of corruption. I think it's over here. Yeah, these people. Yeah, of Oakland, the house belongs to Andy Duong. He is listed as director at California Waste Solutions, a recycling company that serves Oakland. Meanwhile, U.S. postal inspectors collected evidence at a nearby house that belongs to David Duong, Andy's father, who's listed as the CEO of California Waste Solutions. The Duong's family business, California Waste Solutions, released this statement. It reads, California Waste Solutions is fully aware that federal agents executed search warrants at a number of locations in Oakland and related to the company is fully cooperating with the government's investigation and is confident that government officials will conclude that CWS was not involved in any unlawful or improper activities. And so the problem is with that is California Waste Solutions is a company that spends a lot of money lobbying. They've they, they donated to many, many politicians and it's a federal investigation is looking into allegations of corruption and misuse of funds within Tao's administration. So basically, they've been pumping money into her administration for kickbacks, for contracts. All I understand that politics, it seems like this is normal, right? Like we're pointing out because they're getting caught, either they're incompetent or not able to hide it, or it just becomes so big that it's impossible to hide it. I understand this happens often, but the problem is when you have incompetence, you're not doing your job really well, crime is not down, people are getting a their cars broken into people are you know businesses a lot of small businesses are complaining about how Tao has has made things difficult dealing with the budget cutting back with cutting back police is it, it gets a point like damn it, all right you're gonna do this kickback and do all these crazy things but can you at least fix what's going on in the city can you at least fix that before you do the corrupt stuff you can't be corrupt and be bad at your job like it's just too much for the citizens to deal with I think someone said it's like little Chicago, but Oakland is really, really, really in trouble. And if you have someone who don't know what they're doing and they're corrupt, it's just too much. It's just too much. So she's not going to step down. They're going to have to recall her. The recall campaign is going to cost a lot of money because it's, it's kind of similar to another campaign, but I guess another direction, the campaign to kick someone out. Money has to been spent, donations, all that type of thing. It go, it's going to cost the city millions of dollars to kick her out of office. I mean, at this point, I think a lot of people want her to step down. It's not just citizens. It's the police department, even police officials, community members believe that her leadership isn't working and change is needed to get the city back on track. So Oakland, Oakland's problems are numerous. Obviously, just getting rid of the mayor is not going to necessarily fix everything. The city has deep rooted issues and going to need more than just a new person in charge. But at the same time, the fact that so many people, especially people in the police department, are unhappy with Mayor Tao shows that something drastically needs to change. I mean, hopefully something does change, you know, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll keep we'll keep a track on that.